Welcome to your Daily Five for Thursday, August 24th, 2023. I saw a story over on Wired that was talking about one of the aspects of the development of the atomic bomb that was apparently not, and I haven't seen Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer, however you're supposed to pronounce it. I've heard people saying Oppenheimer, so I'm assuming that's actually the correct, the correct pronunciation. It's amazing I didn't botch that. I couldn't get the word after it. The word pronunciation I couldn't get right, but I got the name right. Or wrong, I don't know. But in any event, the newest Nolan film about the person who was involved in the creation of the atomic bomb, whether it's Oppenheimer or Oppenheimer, whatever it is, one of the aspects that apparently isn't covered at all in the movie, or at least no, with no depth from my understanding based on this Wired story, is that there were a lot of elements in the bomb that were excavated through mines in countries where people were treated quite poorly and paid even worse. And honestly... This isn't really, I mean, for some people, maybe that's news, but that's really the case for almost everything that we have in developed countries. This is sort of an ongoing thing, and I'm glad to see stories like this. Don't get me wrong. I think this is a good story because I think there should be more stories like this that allow people to understand what the true costs of what they use are. Because this is one of the great things. There, there's almost a punchline that follows when people say, oh, more things should be, in this case, I'll use America because I'm in the United States. Oh, I wish more things were made in America. And the punchline to that is dot, dot, dot. And then I wouldn't be able to afford the things I'm proud of. Because you wouldn't be able to, well, I mean, some people would. The rich, would, of course, would be able to afford and they could afford whatever they want now. But most people don't actually take into account why things are cheap and they're cheap because they're made in countries where there are no real labor protections for workers, where pay is something that no American could survive on. I mean, even what Americans can survive on is constantly being driven up, but certainly they wouldn't be able to afford some of the prices for people who excavate and create the components in things like, I don't know, your iPhone or your Android phone. I want to just make an iPhone thing. It's all cell phones. They don't understand the environmental impacts of these things, of why when people just throw electronics away and don't properly dispose of them. E-waste and who processes that e-waste. Look into that a little bit if you want to be depressed for the rest of your day. So this is not surprising. When I read this article, there's nothing in there that shocks me. But I am glad to see that there are still people writing these articles and highlighting something that I think is still a criminally misunderstood part of many of the things that, again, people... I can only speak for the United States, but I'm somewhat confident in saying that most developed countries have this problem where people, I I was actually talking to my wife about something with this because there is a large warehouse chain in the United States called Costco. Many people have probably heard of it, even if you've never been in one and they sell a variety of things, including food items. And she got a chicken for our dog from there, a little rotisserie chicken And she remarked about how cheap it was. And the first thing I thought of, and I want to say anything because I want to make my wife feel bad, but in the back of my mind, I thought, okay, well, it's probably cheap because of the way these chickens are being raised, not only the conditions, but probably what they're being fed to make them bigger because she remarked that the chicken was rather large for the price compared to buying it in other stores. And I don't know, but my guess would be just thinking off the top of my head, is usually cheaper things are not the result of better conditions of their manufacture. Whether that's animals or products, generally that is a safe rule. So my thought was, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can guess why that chicken is so much cheaper, and it's not going to be because Costco has suddenly got extremely... extraordinarily efficient at raising and processing chickens. I'm pretty sure it's because some inhumane things and some corners are being cut in what results in that chicken ending up in the, well, I guess the heater shelf or whatever you refer to that, the the warming shelf. I don't know what those cases are called. I'm sorry. I'm sure there's a food service description for it, but I don't know what it is. And that's everything. I mean, that's everything. That's why buying shirts that are actually made in America, if you buy clothing that's American made, you're going to notice it's a lot more expensive. It's just the way that it is. And that's because of the background costs, the hidden costs, the unknown costs that go into these things. So again, this is not a criticism of this Wired article. I think it's great. I'm very happy that these articles keep being written. I don't know that enough people are actually reading them or aware of them. I think it's something that has to be worked more into the education system, but that's not going to happen in this country. Look what's happening with education in this country. It's being dismantled, certainly not upgraded. So again, I'm happy that these articles are still being written. I would encourage you to read the one that I've linked here in case you don't know this history. And hopefully they keep getting written and more people know about it. Later.